Geese is an independent professional theatre company and we're a charity and our remit is to work within the criminal justice system which we do throughout the UK and occasionally abroad. Whether that's a conference that we've been commissioned to create a performance for, whether it's working for uh, a long-term project with a particular group of offenders. We have a team of people here who are totally dedicated to making sure that those projects, those performances are absolutely of the best quality that they can possibly be. Most of our work is with people who have either committed offences or who are at risk of being involved in offending and other groups which we sometimes describe as vulnerable or marginalised. We also work with criminal justice uh, professionals and voluntary agencies as well so probation officers, judges, police. Primarily what we're doing with masks is we're using the metaphor, the notion of the, the front that somebody might wear to the outside world, the way they portray themselves uh, when they're encountering other people in certain situations. A, a character is uh, invited to literally lift the mask up from the top of the head uh, and place it on the top of their head so that they're revealing a little bit about what might be going on behind the external behaviour that we're witnessing. So that allows us to access kind of inner thoughts, feelings, attitudes, beliefs, values. It's a very powerful metaphor for working with uh, offender populations. When I was in prison, that was my first workshop when I first met Geese. Uh, it takes me out of my comfort zone, but with me doing that, it gives, it's, it's helping me build on my confidence and self-esteem. I suffer with depression, but once I've sort of been here, I, the depression sort of disappears out of me, it's like, I don't have depression when I've been to these, so it's just a fantastic opportunity. You get to do really positive work, really integral work in places where, you know, using theatre, using experiential learning maybe isn't as commonplace and, you know, and I feel really privileged that I can be part of that. One day we'll be rehearsing away and then that evening we'll be going in the van to somewhere across the country. The next day we could be working with a group, next day we're in the office. You don't know exactly what you're going to be doing or who's going to be there in a group or exactly the audience you have so you constantly have to just be fresh prepared and ready. Today we're in uh, sunny Wales uh, neath Port Talbot and uh, we've been working with some young people who are at risk of offending. We've done a workshop performance for them and we also showed them the fragment masks. Today we've been doing a bit of drama, a bit of everything really, interacting with others, learning how to control temper. Dave done really good impressions about like with the masks, you, whatever question you've done, you switched over to different personalities and it was really good. What I'll take away is try and control the temper and not lose it so easily and think about what I do first before I actually do it. To get them all up playing games, that was just great. Um, and, and the learning aspect of the day, I think, even for myself, you know, it's been, uh, no, it, it's been great all day. We very much create bespoke theatre and bespoke projects which are devised in close consultation with the commissioning agency so as much information as we can get from them at the beginning about what they're hoping to achieve the better because then we can create something that's really going to to hit that mark. Geese are involved in a lot of conference and training events it's usually for criminal justice agencies like probation police, uh, judiciary, but we also do an awful lot of work with people like social services, mental health, health education, um, and we do these interactive performances which just explore some of the issues that are important for the audience we're working with, and that can range from anything from the effects of domestic violence on children to some very uh, tricky procedural stuff that is important for an agency. It's just such a special place with really special people and then you get to go out throughout the country and sometimes, you know, further afield than that and you kind of get to share some of the magic that is geese. I don't know, it's really hard to, to kind of explain. It's uh, opened me up to, to be able to speak to individuals on their level. I wasn't really ever comfortable working in groups, sitting in groups, or even talking if there's more than one person in the room. It's even opened my mind up to other suggestions and what others come up with. Theatre is able to touch people both kind of emotionally, it creates affect, it, but it also makes people think and hopefully think differently. That's what we're heading for, that's what we're hoping to achieve, because it's through that combination of, of making people, you know, maybe think slightly differently or to reframe their thinking. With that emotional content, 
ideally that's where the change process might begin. A favourite memory is um, doing week-long creative residencies with a um, group of male prisoners who walk in the room and just go, what is this? I'm not doing this. And then by Friday are putting on a full-scale performance in front of all you know, other prisoners that they've invited um, and are absolutely just buzzing and on fire at the end of it of what they've achieved. In some ways we're trying to create work which changes people's lives, changes their lives, ideally for the better, um, changes the lives of their families, their children uh, and the communities in which they're living. Uh, I'd really like to thank the geese. No. <laughs> just, see, just seeing you all running around as geese then. <laughs> geese Theatre Company exists to work with animals, mainly donkeys. We're a donkey sanctuary. Why the hell we're called geese? I have no idea. Ridiculous. People get really confused. <laughs>